Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Differential relays are used to provide selective protection against which of the following electrical faults in a power system. So the options were internal faults for transformers and generators and motors, overcurrent, overvoltage, and surges. So I'm going to give a really simplified explanation of differential relays today, and then you can do further studies if you're interested. So I want you to think about them almost like they are larger GFCI protection. And let me explain what I mean. So the answer to today's question is internal faults of transformers, generators, and motors. So to protect larger things like transformers, generators, and motors from phase-to-phase -phase faults, also from issues with the windings of a motor and things like that, we're going to use a differential relay. And we're going to isolate a part of the circuit or a part of the system and let's say we isolate one motor. So set a motor in the center. And imagine with me for just a second that on before the motor we you know we start the zone and after motor we start the zone and in, in the middle we put the differential relay. And what we're going to do is is essentially is it's going to act like a current counting machine just like a GFCI does. It counts the current in between the hot and the neutral or phase to phase. And if there's a discrepancy, you know, there's more current on one leg or the other, or there's a fault condition, it's going to shut off. Same thing with the differential relay. It's going to do the exact same thing. So let's say we have phase A and phase B, for example. And they, you know, current's going good, everything's fine. And then all of a sudden, there's more current on phase A because of a fault, uh, motor winding issue, you know, all these different things that could potentially be the problem. Well, there's going to be an inrush of current on phase A. It's going to read that discrepancy in current, and it's going to open the relay. And that's exactly what it is. And it can allow you to do many things. For one, it can allow you to keep the rest of the system running while you've isolated the one problem. Because when you get into bigger uh, factories and different things, they could have very complicated or expensive processes going on, and they don't want to shut down the whole thing, so they isolate the one piece. Now, there are other ways to isolate equipment during fault conditions. Not going to get into those today. But then, once the fault was cleared or found, we then we could re-energize the circuit and the relay would close again and things would be well. So this is a very simplified explanation. There are some drawbacks just like with GFCI technology. There, uh, There is such a thing as nuisance tripping for these differential relays and other things like that. So kind of a complex subject and hopefully a, a brief overview for you to give you a little bit of understanding. If you have any questions or concerns or if you've worked with these out in the field, if I miss something, just let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day. Let's get to it.